Hey guys! If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already saw that I was in Hawaii during September. It was my first time there and my first time trying L&L Hawaiian barbecue and oh my gosh, it was so delicious. It's like a really common fast food joint slash restaurant that they have all over Hawaii. And one of my mom's friends owns a location there, so she was nice enough to give me this t-shirt to cut up. And since I'm really, really missing Hawaii, it's only been two months since I went, but I'm already missing it so much. I thought I'd bring out this shirt and cut it up uh, to bring me back into the Hawaii mood, even though it's winter. But I want to do this really cute fringe crop top. I did an arch shape in the front, so it's higher up in the middle and then longer in the side. And then in the back, I did a V shape, so it covers my bum. The shirt's a size medium, so it's a little bit wide on me, but I like it because it adds to that kind of bohemian casual uh, fringe look. And it's made of 100% cotton, it's a Hanes t-shirt. And I'm going to show you guys how to cut it up. So the first thing we're going to use is a seam ripper, which has two pointy ends, so be careful when you're using it. If you have one at home, uh, this is really great for pulling out stitches from clothing. If you don't, uh, you could try using scissors. But we need to take the bottom hem of the t-shirt out so we can um, extend the length of the shirt. And this is a tip actually from one of my viewers, so thanks for letting me know that I could actually just take the seam out and extend the shirt instead of cutting off the bottom bit of the shirt. If you look at the hem of your t-shirt, it's going to look really complicated. It's called a double stitch and it has three threads in there. But if you see what I'm doing, I'm just pulling on the main string on the inside of the shirt and it's just completely coming apart really, really easily. On, same with on the outside of the, the shirt, if you just pull on the strings, it'll come apart if you know how to unravel it properly. But keep in mind, it only unravels in one direction. You do not want to start just ripping out random threads because they're going to get tangled and you're going to have a huge headache in trying to remove these stitches. What you want to do is go on the outside of the t-shirt. You'll see that there's two straight lines. And what you need to do is remove four or five stitches from the top and from the bottom. So I'm taking my seam ripper and I'm just uh, sticking it in one of the threads and just pulling it out a few stitches at a time until I have a section from the top and the bottom uh, taken out. Just hit the pull out the threads. And when you flip the shirt over, you'll see on the inside that the main thread is unraveled. And you basically just pull it and there you go. It's going to unravel in one direction all the way around the shirt. Okay, so for step two, we're going to see where we want to cut the shirt so we know where how high to go when we're doing the fringe. So we need to make little markings. I'm using fabric chalk. You can also use chalkboard chalk or bar soap to make temporary marks. So I'm going to do it right at the top of my jeans for the center mark. And I'm going to do a mark right there. And then I'm going to do one on the side. About here. And now I'm going to take the shirt off and then we're full, when we fold it in half, I can do the other side to match um, where the left and right side are. So I'm just going to freehand it using my fabric chalk. I'm just going to eyeball the arch of the shirt using the marks I made when I was wearing the shirt. And now I'm folding it over so I can make sure that the arch is even on the left and right side. I'm going to use the mark that I drew on the top side to help trace the bottom side. So as I fold back, I'm going to sketch along here to be exactly the same. That way I know it's even on both sides of the arch. So there's my curved arch shape on the front of the shirt. On the back, I have just my starting point has to be wherever I started on the left and right side on the front. So this exact spot has to be right there. Same as this side, this spot here will be right here. And I'm going to use a ruler to help do a straight line so I can do a V shape. So here I'm just double checking that the start on front and back are all the same. And, and I'm making sure that the middle point of the shirt is indeed the middle point that I've drawn here. So, now that I'm happy and confirmed with everything, because remember, you always want to check twice, cut once. Once you're good to go, you can start doing strips straight up and down, about a generous half an inch apart. So I just do a generous finger width 
um, all the way around. Once you do the first one or two cuts, make sure you stop and stretch out the strip to make sure you're happy with the size of the fringe. You can always dress accordingly if you like a thinner and thicker look, so make sure you check before you move on and cut too many. And just be careful not to cut the strips too thin or you might risk ripping the fabric when you stretch it out. Notice that once you stretch out the strip, it will curl, so it hides any imperfections. So you don't have to worry about being too perfect or cutting everything exactly the same. It'll all basically look good in the end. And when you're cutting a straight line like we are in the back with the V-shape, always use a metal ruler so you get a polished straight line. So you don't have one fringe going a little bit higher up and one going a little bit lower. Everything will look, look even if you cut um, according to the metal ruler. And when you cut the other side, uh, make sure you hide all the fringe from the cut side so you don't actually accidentally snip it away when you're cutting the top. And it makes cutting the top a lot easier too because you can rest your ruler against the table. So here's what the t-shirt looks like all cut up into fringe. So the top hits just at the top of my jeans and in the back it just perfectly covers my bum. So next we need to cut out the neckline and I want to do the sleeves and turn those into fringe as well. So since this is a Hawaii inspired shirt, I'm going to do a deeper neckline, one inch all the way around the collar. Deeper than normal because, you know, I'm going to wear this on the beach so I want a little deeper neckline, that's okay. It's going to just be a cover up for my bikini. So just like before when we were doing the bottom hem of the t-shirt, instead of just cutting off the edge, we're going to remove the stitches from the sleeve and extend the fabric so we don't waste any of it. And so to remove these stitches, I'm using my seam ripper to pull out a few threads on the outside. And once I get a section done on the inside, the threads just become unraveled and I can just pull it and it unravels all the way around the sleeve. And now I'm just going to cut the sleeve into fringe by cutting the top and the bottom at the same time. Once you finish cutting the fringe, you'll need to stretch out each string and do the exact same thing on the other side of the sleeve. To turn the t-shirt into a tank top look, I'll need two pieces of string, which I'll cut out from the collar since we left an inch around the collar, there's extra fabric there. So here's the new neckline and the fringed sleeves. Well since this is kind of thick and it's not really the tank top look that I'm looking for, uh, that's why I grabbed the extra piece of string and so I am going to loop it through underneath here and kind of push it into the back of the shirt behind a few strings of fringe and then just tie a knot and here's the tank top look at the top <laughs> So here it is paired with some shorts. This would be really cute for a music festival or if you're going to the beach or if you're going on vacation to somewhere really nice. Who wouldn't want to get away from the winter weather right now? Unless you're lucky enough to live somewhere where it's always hot. I'm going to be going to Calgary for the entire month of December and it's funny because it's even colder than Vancouver. It's just the next province over from BC and they already had a lot of snow in October. Are any of you guys going anywhere nice for the holidays? Well, you can always pack this fringe t-shirt just like how I'm wearing here where I kind of scrunched the top to make it into a tank top. Or if you want more of a crop top look because that's really in right now, you can kind of do it without even cutting more. Like you could always cut more higher up so the fringe is longer if you want, but all you gotta do is really just pull the shirt back and up a little and it's gonna give you that crop top look. Um, just grab the two strings that you use to tie the top and in the back you're going to want to tie them together in a loose double knot like this so it's a high neck top you get this t-shirt crop top look. What do you guys think? Check out my blog if you want to see the written instructions and step-by-step -step photos of the making of this t-shirt. 
And if you're on Pinterest, follow me. I have a t-shirt cutting board with over 2,000 pins. I pinned like a zillion fringe pictures just in the last two days getting inspiration for this video. <laughs> so link to my Instagram and Pinterest are in the description box below, so go follow me. And subscribe to my channel, so I'm going to be uploading t-shirt cutting videos every single Tuesday. Share this video with your friends, and thanks for watching, you guys!